Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I did to create this chart I have here under v -Not. So this chart is related to a tag I have uh, chosen to historize. So as you can see, it's a value which uh, is uh, updated each minute okay, on the chart. So in order to do so, you will need two things. The first one is to download MongoDB database. And the second one is to uh, create a historian model. So in order to do so, you go under config here, then under models sections. Then here you will have to select new model. So I will write in capital letters. Once this done in the drop down menu, you select historian. You save the model and you save the logger. OK, so in this case, it's not relevant to have two of them because I already have one which is working. So I'm going to, I'm going to delete this one. So you see, here is my historian with uh, some properties such as buffer limit, insert rate, etc. Uh, the next step is to enable the historization into your tags. So I'm not going to show you how to create tag groups and tags because you already have another tutorial on the YouTube channel uh, to, to do so. Uh, just going to show you the example I have with my OPCDA client. So in this group, I have two tags, Prussian 2 and Temperature 2. So Prussian 2, if I deploy this tag, you see uh, in terms of history, this is enabled. So it's set on true and it's related to histo, which is my historian model I have previously created. For Temperature 2, Contrary to Prussian 2, uh, history is not enabled. So I'm going to enable it so you will see that uh, it will appear under the charts. OK. So I click on the Save button. I go back to Historical. I edit my config again. So here you see I can uh, have my two tags. I can drag and drop here. I set the start and end time here and I leave the aggregation interval uh, at one minute. I click on apply and you see now I have two charts, one related to pressure 2 and the other one related to uh, temperature 2. Okay. So then you can also show the data of your tags. So pression 2, temperature 2. Here you see temperature 2 is starting later. Well, it's, uh, it's normal since I have just activated the historization a few minutes ago. And then you also have the possibility to download a CSV file with the history of your values. Well, thanks for watching. I hope uh, it has been helpful. And in case of uh, anything, if you want to run a test yourself with uh, this nice uh, historian model acting like a mini scatter, just let us know per email info at vnotautomation.com. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.